Hello and welcome to this section of our course on Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. In the previous section we looked at the preview features in Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. In this section, which is actually quite a short section, we're going to look at something that was just introduced in CS6, which is a feature called the multi-screen preview. And it has particular value in relation to mobile devices such as phones and tablets. Now to see how the Springs Park homepage looks on three different default size screens, let's go into the multi-screen option here and right at the top, multi-screen preview, that brings up a dialogue with three sizes included. It's the index.html homepage, the phone size we've got is 320 by 300, the tablet size we've got is 768 by 300 and the PC desktop size we've got is here is 1126 by 204. Now we can adjust these to different size settings. We have media queries and viewport sizes. Let's start with media queries actually. We're not going to do this at the moment but let me tell you about media queries because we're going to look at this much later on. One of the approaches that you can take to dealing with different sizes of device is to include media queries in your website. And what this basically does is that the browser asks the device that the user is using what size the device screen is. And on the basis of the answer to that question, you can have your website render itself in an appropriate size for that device. So you can say to the device, how big are you? The device will say, well, I'm this big. And you can say, ah, well, the layout I'm going to give you is this. Now, that probably sounds like quite a lot of work when you consider all the different sizes of device that are available. But there are various tools available in Dreamweaver, as we'll see later on, to help with this. And in fact, media queries we're going to come back to later on. But just to give you some idea of how we deal with the issue of all these different size screens nowadays, let's cancel that one then and let's go into viewport sizes. So these are the three default viewport sizes that come with Dreamweaver CS6. If you wanted to try something different, you could put a different size in. Now I'm not going to change the name of this one, but if I say I wanted to try a Sony PSP, PlayStation Portable, the size that I need there is 480 by 272. So I can put that in, click on OK, and then the viewport size that's set over here is the one for the PSP. Now clearly my page is pretty much no good for a PSP as it stands because I'd have to use both scroll bars to see all of the page. We'll come back to that question later on. But you can see how you can very easily set up a preview of that size. Anytime you want to reset the viewport sizes, click there, reset to defaults and they go back to these three default sizes. Now seeing those three together in the viewport is a great way of seeing how your site renders on three different types of device, the phone, the tablet, the sort of mid-sized device, and then the PC at the largest size. It's very straightforward as well to look at individual sizes, just about any size that you like. Again, back to the preview button here, and you have a number of options there, different phone sizes, tablet, PC sizes and so on. So if I just wanted to see a 320 by 480 smartphone, click there and I get a preview of the right size. Back into the preview button again, edit sizes. I have a list, this is actually within preferences, it's the final page on preferences. I have a list of available devices. So if I wanted to add a device, let's do a plus here. Let's say the width that we want is 480. Press the tab key. Height is 272. 
press the tab key I'll give it its full name Sony PSP click on OK and that now appears as one of the options we've got Sony PSP click that's what our site would look like on that device Now just one final note, let me just go back to the normal size view of this. Let me once again bring up the multi-screen preview. The multi-screen preview is actually a panel and you can leave it open while you work on your pages. You could put it over the side and take a look at it every now and then to see how the pages are looking but there are two important things to bear in mind if you decide to do this one of them is that the multi-screen preview panel is not a browser window so it's not intended to display dynamic content such as movies and things and the second thing to do to bear in mind is that it does not automatically sync with changes that you're making to your pages. So you've set up your page, you're looking at three different sizes in the multi-screen preview and checking each of them as you go to decide whether you like the size, whether it's working or not. If you make changes to the page, you have to go in here and do a refresh. There is a refresh button here specifically for that purpose to see those changes enacted in the multi-screen preview. So two important things to be aware of there. So we've looked at two important things in this section. We've looked at our pages in different sizes of screen and we've seen how to add a new size of screen to give us a different preview option on size. And we've also looked at the multi-screen preview where we can see three different views of our pages at once where we can check that whilst we're working on our pages to make them look good on three different devices we can see the effect on the three as we go and that's multi-screen preview. In the next section, we're going to look at panels in general, so I'll see you then.